I can't believe we're starting another camo grind. Oh, shit. Here we go again. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Now, if you somehow missed my video that I uploaded yesterday, we went ahead and unlocked the Dark Matter camo. We finished up Diamond, Dark Spine, and yeah, we got this camo. Man, it is so good. Basically, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love on that video. It's easily my best performing video in less than 24 hours. We gained a ton of new subscribers, so huge shout out to you guys if you're new. Join the family and subscribe. I did mention that one once we are done with the multiplayer grind, there's one more we have to do, and that is for zombies. And within zombies, there are four unique mastery camos. We have Mystic Gold, Opal, Afterlife returning from Black Ops 2. And of course, we have the Nebula camo. Oh my god. As much as I love Dark Matter, I really need this camo. This might actually look better. Now, if you guys actually want me to grind for the Nebula camo, I swear, man, I'm gonna need like 5,000 likes on today's video. If this video reaches 5,000 likes, I will go ahead and grind for it. It's going to be a very long grind, but I'll do it if you want it. Now, if we actually head over to Zombies and check out the camos, I have a feeling that the camos and this grind are going to take a lot longer. The military camo challenges in zombies is get 2,000 critical kills with each weapon. Critical kills are literally just headshots, but 2,000 of them? That could take a while. For the special camos on the XM4, we need to get 300 eliminations with Napalm Burst equipped, as well as 30 vermin eliminations. After we do the special camos, we can now unlock Mystic Gold, and for this, we just need to get 10 kills rapidly 15 times. Again, shouldn't be that bad. And of course, as you guys know, man, we have to be using the Dark Matter camo. Now, I will say I'm actually really excited to actually grind for the Zombies camos just to take kind of a little bit of a break for multiplayer grinding. Obviously, multiplayer grinding can be very, very sweaty, very tedious, but I'm excited to kind of just chill and just literally kill zombies and just play this. Playing a different mode is actually really exciting for me and something brand new. I'm really not the biggest Zombies guy in the world, although I have unlocked some Zombies camos in the past. I've never been huge on Zombies, so I'm kind of curious. Let me know down below in the comment section, what is the best zombies map? Me personally, I'm a little bit more of a nostalgic person, I guess. So I would have to say Kino. Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty game. So I absolutely loved Kino training in the theater room and turning on the power, everything like that. But like I mentioned, we have to get 2000 critical hits or just, you know, headshots. I will say I did a little bit of research when it comes to the zombies camo grind. I didn't want to just jump in and seem like a really big noob, but a lot of zombies players were actually actually avoiding this map right here, Liberty Falls. Because on this map in particular, there's no actual headshot daiquiri machine. You can't get that perk. But people have found out there is a secret Easter egg to actually get headshot daiquiri. And of course, that will make getting these critical kills a lot easier. But I will show you guys how to do the headshot daiquiri Easter egg on Liberty Falls. Because I'm sure at some point you guys will want to grind for Nebula camo. It's a really nice looking one. But we just hit round five. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the rage inducer thing right up here. It basically makes a lot more zombies come through, but I like only doing it for the first few rounds. Hello. But I only like doing it for the first few rounds because it can really get hectic. So we're going to turn off the rampage inducer. We're going to not die. We do actually have a good amount of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy this little door right here or energy barrier. I don't know. I'm just going to call them doors because that's what we called them back in the day. All right. We can actually buy this one as well. And we're going to go all the way over here. I will say this little Easter egg, it can actually be a challenge. I failed it multiple times. I'm just going to wait until we're a little bit more cleared out with the zombies first. What you guys are going to do is come up to this building right over here. There's actually a wall buy for the LR762. You're going to go ahead and buy this. And yes, we're buying a sniper. I get it. I understand. We're working on the XM4. Now that there's one zombie left, this guy is just going to literally chill. He's actually going to follow us. What we're going to do is we're also going to buy this final door, which is 2,000. We're going to go over here to the graveyard. Now, this is where you actually do the Easter egg for the free headshot daiquiri. It will make Make your life a lot easier. Now, if you actually take your sniper that you just bought and zoom in, you guys will see there are five of these little cans that are lined up on the fence. We're gonna have to shoot those, and uh, it's actually a time limit. Once you shoot the first can, it starts. So we got one right there. Hold up. Wait. We got two. Oh my god, I missed. No. 
two. No, I missed. All right. So the good news is this actually does refresh. So what we're going to do is we already, we already lost it. So yeah, all the cans are gone. We didn't do it the first try. It is really challenging. Thankfully, they do refresh and you will have another opportunity. So these are the vermins right here, which are actually the brand new dogs. And this is actually one of the special camo challenges that we need for the XM4. We need to kill, I believe, 50 vermins, which shouldn't be that bad. A lot of them spawn very late into the game and you will have no problem taking these guys out at all. And yeah, you get a free, uh, boom, max ammo. Okay, so the cans are officially back. What we're gonna do is we're going to uh, wait until there's one last zombie and then try again. Oh, we got insta-kill. This will make all of these critical kills so much easier. I will say this is really, really challenging. It's actually really tough. I've only did it one time. One. No. Two. Wait, are they all gone? Hello? They all just disappear. In the meantime, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pack a punch. So we're gonna open up this chamber thing. It's it's really scary. I'm gonna go over here and just pack a punch. And yeah, the camo that you get for pack a punching in this game is unbelievable. Get all these critical kills. Now that we have a pack a punch gun, this is perfect. But Treyarch, if you're watching this video, man, I would love to get the pack a punch camos in multiplayer. Also, now that we have a lot of salvage, we can go ahead and actually buy the napalm and the upgrade for for our weapon. No, I missed. Did I get it? Did I get it? I was so close! Let's go ahead and pack a punch for the second time. Oh, this camo looks so sick as well. They are just gonna go down so fast. If we had headshot, this would be a lot easier, but either way, we're doing it. Headshot, 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 and are you kidding? Now that we died, we can see our progress. We just need less than 200 more critical kills. I did it! Let's go! All right, so we got the uh, <laughs> we got the headshot daiquiri. Now we can literally just like ADS spam and just get critical kills like that. We don't need that many more, so we should be fine. But yeah, this will make our lives so much easier. I'm telling you though, right now, it is hard to hit all five of those cans in a timely fashion. It's also really nice too, because with zombies, I feel like I can play with my friends a lot of the time. So if you guys want to see me maybe party up with like Bradders or someone else, maybe Dismo, something like that, let me know down below in the comments. All right, let's go ahead and buy our Pack-A-Punch as well. Boom, there we go. We can also uh, make our weapon a little bit more rare so it's stronger which is great we're literally just gonna get all of these zombies in a train and just ads spam and get critical kills and that's pretty much it with this bunch of zombies we might be able to finish the critical kills okay did we do it yes purple tiger camo all right so we are done with the critical kills now we have to get 300 eliminations with the napalm burst ammo mod which we already have on our weapon and we also need to kill vermins which will just constantly spawn throughout the game again this camo grind is not going to be that challenging if you know what you're doing the thing is I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I am not a big zombies player, so I really don't know. And I think this camo grind is gonna be a lot longer than obviously Dark Matter in multiplayer because I just don't play a lot of zombies. Thankfully though, these are the vermin that we have to kill for the special camo. We also now have enough money to pack a bunch our gun yet again, and we get that blue camo. I just need to inspect this real quick. Oh my God. All right, we're not gonna die this time because this is the run. Oh, that's an abomination. That is an abomination. These things can be so annoying. Oh, dear heavens. Everyone just chill out. Abomination, just chill. Stay over there. All right, you should go down. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes, there we go. Oh, that's an insta-kill. We need that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my lord. Here we go. Level three armor vest. We need that. Knowing me, I'm gonna need that. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy Jug while we're here. Might as well. Also, if you guys have played Black Ops 6 Zombies, which map do you like better? Liberty Falls or Terminus? Oh, perfect. We got a vermin rat. This is what we need for the special camo as well. Oh, we did it. Let's go. All right, so we just completed and finished the vermin camo challenge. Yo, can you guys 
just chill out on me. Okay, so I think the last special camo challenge we need is just killing zombies with the napalm burst ammo mod, which we've already been doing. Oh, we did it. Let's go liquefy. Okay, so we are done with both special camo challenges. Now for the mystic gold challenge, I believe we need to kill 10 zombies rapidly. So I think as long as we just line up the zombies like this and kill 10 rapidly like this, we should be good to go. Okay, we have a ton of zombies behind us and shoot. This is what we gotta do. I think this is what we need to do at least. There's gotta be 10 zombies here, right? I think so. I, I think that looks like 10 at least. I don't know. I really don't know. Massacre? I, uh, I don't know. We're getting medals. All right, let's go ahead and pack a punch for the last time. Oh my God. Nah, dude, this camo is so good looking. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm just having so much fun grinding zombies. I seriously am, man. Oh wait, can we do it? Did we do it? I think we did it. Hold on, where's the pop-up? Mystic Gold! Yes, dude, we did it! Our first Mystic Gold gun, and it's kind of fitting that it's on the XM4. All right, well, we just finished it. Now, the really cool thing about zombies is we can click start and save and quit. Yeah, we can actually save our progress and just simply quit the game and go back to it if we want to. All right, give it to me. Let me see it. Yes, we got Mystic Gold. I am actually a little curious. What do you guys like better, the regular gold in multiplayer or Mystic Gold? Gold from zombies. Not gonna lie, Mystic Gold is kind of speaking to me. Alrighty, fellas, and here we go. Our first Mystic Gold weapon. I'm not gonna lie, this might be better than the gold camo in multiplayer. Yo, it shines so bright. I love the design as well. Like I said, man, I'm very, very excited to actually grind the zombies camos. Obviously, I'm a big multiplayer guy, so just being able to, I don't know, almost just play zombies and just relax is actually really fun. But I'm very curious. Do you guys feel like the nebula camo is even worth grinding for? I know not everyone might not be into zombies, and like I just said, you know, I'm not the biggest zombies person either. But just looking at that nebula camo, it just seems worth it to me. And the fact that you can also run these zombies camos in multiplayer too, I think that's a huge bonus. Vice versa, then you can run your, you know, multiplayer dark matter in zombies. What was that? What was that? I just feel like everyone's grinding camos right now. Oh my gosh, these spawns, these spawns, oh my god, we gotta watch Shog, we gotta watch Shog, bro, oh my gosh, got right here, no, dude, we just popped off with the freaking mystic gold, oh, this camo is beautiful, yeah, I gotta get this camo on more weapons, bro, what the hell? Okay, so this right here is the gold camo from multiplayer, obviously. And then this is Mystic Gold. I'm not gonna lie, Mystic Gold just has a little bit more oomph to it, but I don't hate the gold camo from multiplayer. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see more zombies videos or me just grinding for Nebula. I'm excited for another camo grind, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.